Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy B. How you living? As a lot of y'all know, I had to go out there and cop that uh that Drake thank me later. So I thought I'd just make a video, you know, giving my thoughts on the album and how I think you know it actually turned out. Like it didn't live up to the hype, or it could have been better or whatever, whatever. So let's get into that. Uh, one criticism I got for it is that you know there was like so many. <laughs> Like, his music was everywhere, you know what I mean? Like, I heard, I think I heard like five, five tracks off of the album before the thing even got released, you know what I'm saying? So I thought that that would kind of, you know, lessen the impact of that first listen for me. But, you know, turns out that it didn't hurt him that much when I first listened to it, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, that didn't hurt him that much. But I don't, I don't like hearing like half the album before I get the album, you know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, let's get into it. The thing I do when I buy CDs is, you know, I, I like to get the get the thing and open up the, you know, take off the plastic wrapping and all that and then get the booklet. This is the booklet right here. Thank me later or whatever. And um when you first open up the book, you, you have this really questionable looking picture of Drake right there. I mean, you know, I, I guess that's for the ladies, you know what I'm saying? But me, I'm looking at that and I'm like, oh, oh, gay. That's the first thing that ran through my mind. Oh, that's gay. But nah, um, getting past that, you know, the booklets, pretty basic, got the song titles and all that. And then another picture of this nigga, you know what I'm saying? Picture of him when he was a little kid and shit. And then, uh, right here in the back, towards the back, you got this really emo looking picture. But, you know, off of that, um, as for the actual album, I thought that the, uh, you know, you know the order that he put the songs in flowed pretty nicely. Uh, right off the bat, he, he hit you with fireworks, and that pretty much sets the tone for the whole album. You know, like I said, you know, we've all heard a lot of the songs off of that, but the ones that he didn't hear, you know, it's worth going to buy the album, because he got a lot of good joints on here, you know what I'm saying? Like, my two favorite, out of all of them, even the singles, my two favorite songs on the album are, um... What was that thing called? The song he got with T.I. and uh, Swiss Beats, which is called Fancy. And my other favorite is Show Me a Good Time. Yeah, Show Me a Good Time. That was a really good one. You know what I'm saying? Show Me a Good Time and Fancy, my two favorite tracks off of that. And um, like I said, the whole album, you know, he gives you a good mix of different subjects and everything like that. Like, you get into a lot of different things it's not just the same old you know blah 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 flow 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 money bitch blah blah you know he actually gets a little personal on this album like um one song the resistance he goes uh pretty deep on that you know and there's a lot of uh a lot of personal things that he shares and you know i, I like that in my music because you know it, it lets me it lets me actually think of this person as just that a person you know not just a, a rapper on TV, you know, this is an actual person, he's, you know, sharing his life with us, you know what I'm saying, so, I appreciate that. He got a lot of good features, like, you know, he got the song with Jay, as y'all know, that's my favorite rapper, uh, Light Up, that was a good track, Jay went in on that, dropping some jewels, dropping some wisdom, it was basically like a track where, um, Jay, on his part, he was like schooling Drake on stuff that's gonna happen to you when you're in the game and how the game goes and all that so I thought that that was a really cool track the, the song with T.I. like I said is one of my favorite ones you know it's like the uh the grown folk version of all that bull like you know she got it made uh, bad bitches five star bitches and all that you know this is like the grown grown folk version of that where <clears throat> it shows a bunch of positive things about females and um like positive behaviors that females have and exhibit that in my opinion are better than being a bad bitch you know then he got a couple songs on that which uh, you know not for me but you know they are alright like uh, the song he got with the dream he, like just straight up singing the whole time so I ain't really pay attention to that when I'm be real with y'all <laughs> and he got the song there called CC's Interlude nah that's my least favorite song on the whole album just because like me and my girl listen to <laughs> listen to the album together, right? And she didn't even know what the hell he was saying the whole damn track, you know what I'm saying? So, 
you know, I, I'm, not, I'm not digging that one. Like I said, you know, thank me later. Start to finish, pretty much, you know, solid, different subjects, uh, you know, different, a lot, a lot of good different beats, you know, like a lot of the beats are like clean as fuck. And, um, yeah, it was all around, you know, a pretty good album. And another criticism, but another criticism I got, not to be too light on them, is uh, the fact that I don't know what the replay value on this is going to be, you know what I mean? Like, how many times you're going to bump this album, just because of the simple fact that a lot of the times, Drake, he like, like, he switches it up with the singing and all that, but when he rapping, it's like the same flow, it's like the same, you know, yeah, y'all get what I'm saying, like, you heard one Drake flow, you heard them all, you know what I mean? But not to say that, you know, that's bad because, you know, we all know that the man can rap and he do a good job at it. It's just that, you know, maybe he can switch it up a little bit on the next go round. But like that's my that's my only real real big criticism. So, you know, uh scale of one to ten, I'm gonna have to give this album a uh I say an eight point five, nine out of ten, eight point five or nine. You know, it's really good. It lives up to my expectations and uh you know, like I said, man, Drake is, <laughs> he, he gonna keep at it, he gonna keep on getting better and better, in my opinion, and he gonna be one of the, you know, he gonna be the Jay-Z of the future, you know what I'm saying, like, not necessarily, you know, the best, but he's gonna be, you know, one of the main figures in hip-hop in the future, in, in my opinion, and this album, Thank Me Later, is a good kickoff point to that, so yeah, as always, it's your boy B, you know, leave your comments, video responses, whatever, and uh, I'm out. Peace.